When Burnsville native John Halbach and his husband Kit Williamson posted a couple of homemade movies on YouTube in 2013, it would have been hard to imagine Emmy nod was in their future. Yeah, but critical acclaim and yes, two Emmy nominations did follow. And now this funny and heartbreaking look at millennial relationships is back for a third season. Yesterday I sat down with the guys who were home for the holidays to talk about Eastsiders. So you guys decided to come to Minnesota in January? <laughs> <laughs> home for the holidays. I grew up here, so every holiday season we try to get back and celebrate with my family. My sister's home from New York, too. It's good to get the whole gang back together. Fun. Uh, you grew up where? Burnsville. Went to Apple Valley High School. Class of 98. Go <laughs> Eagles. <laughs> and Kit, you're now an honorary Minnesotan. I think if you come here once, you're pretty much a Minnesotan. I've been here enough times to say that I feel like an honorary Minnesotan for sure. I've been to the Mall of America at least 20 times. You and my mom, both. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Eastsiders. What is the series about for somebody who hasn't seen it? Well, Eastsiders is a dark comedy about a gay couple living in Silver Lake, California. We started the show back in 2012, shooting it in our living room and put the first two episodes on YouTube. And we did a crowdfunding campaign for $15,000, ended up raising that in four days and getting picked up by Logo, which is Viacom's LGBT channel for distribution. Since then, we've gone all over the place from Vimeo to Amazon, and finally the first two seasons landed on Netflix last year. The gay series that I grew up watching were often somewhat salacious, and there are certainly salacious parts of what you guys do, but it seems more real. And it seems very popular if you were able to fund it in f the, that first season in, in four days. Why? What do you think? How do you think culture has changed and, and, and how what we expect as gay people has changed what we want to see on television? I think we want to see complicated, flawed, complex characters that are allowed to kind of mess up their lives and pick up the pieces in the same way that we expect straight characters in relationship dramas to be able to do. We aren't perfect, right? And I think that that's what makes us all human. This should be the most amazing, life-affirming week of our lives, and we're miserable. Is, is it semi-autobiographical? <laughs> Everybody thinks that. It actually, it's very not autobiographical. Okay. Except for the third season, we did do a cross-country road trip from New York to Los Angeles and shot on location in 16 states. And we'd driven across the country twice before getting from New York to L.A. So <laughs> that part was a little inspired by our experiences. And that shoot did help serve to move us back from New York to Los Angeles. Yeah, Justice. art imitating life, life imitating art. <laughs> uh, any pieces that Minnesotans, uh, sensibilities that Minnesotans might notice? Uh, we got to shoot for maybe a couple of hours in Minnesota. We were hoping for more, but we got a little behind schedule, and unfortunately, Minnesota lost some of its screen time in there. But we did definitely come through Minnesota. You might see some plains, some fields. <laughs> <laughs> what is season three all about? Well, season three finds the characters moving from New York to Los Angeles. Spoiler alert, end of season two, they move to New York and hate it. So they have to come back and pick up the pieces of their old lives. So it's a cross-country road trip. We shot on location in 16 states. And it was really about the experience of a gay couple driving across the country and experiencing the heartland and having a lot of misadventures, some fun, some not so fun, and having their relationship tested to figure out where they want to go together as a couple. And then there are two additional bottle episodes, one shot in Palm Springs that features Stephen Guarino of Showtime's I'm Dying Up Here and Willem from RuPaul's Drag Race. And then another episode back in Silver Lake that features my character along with Constance Wu and Brianna Brown. So we get to see what's going on with them. Another Minnesota local, actually, native, Brianna Brown, yeah. plays a series regular role on the show. Brianna and I went to Apple Valley High School together. No mm -hmm. way. It's amazing. <laughs> you might recognize her from General Hospital or Dynasty, which is uh, rebooted on the CW now. Nice to see Minnesotans doing well. Absolutely, and what a, I mean, what a fortunate series of events mm. to go from two YouTube things to this this big season three of uh, East Siders the series. I will tell you that um, this is not for kids; uh, it's for grown-ups. So make sure you, you keep that in mind. An adult series. Yeah. All right. Well, East, season three of East Siders is streaming on Amazon right now, but we hear it will join seasons one and two on Netflix really soon. We have a link to the show posted at WCCO.com.